Testing one, two, test. Test. Okay, we are ready for concrete. We're waiting for the truck. So I just wanted to introduce this a little bit. 28 by 28, two car ranch style garage that we're going to do. I also wanted to address the builder's level. I wanted to talk about that. People had thousands, thousands of questions, not thousands of questions. But. So this is a self-leveling builder's level. Turn it on. I don't know if you can see that from there, but it has a, it's a laser. So it auto, it's self-leveling. It only does level. It doesn't do uh, angles, things like that, that a transit would do. So it's just to find out, so that we can find out if the form is the same all the way around. So this is a transmitter. You turn it on and you have to point it towards the receiver and it should beep. <laughs> Dan just said I'm too high. I tried to tell you, Ken. So that's a solid beep, pretty much. So that's what you're looking for. So you would just go around the forms. Beep slow if you're too high, and it'll beep fast if you're down too low. And if it's right on, Right on, it's a solid beep. Anyway, I can't seem to find it right now, but anyway, that's the idea so that you can find level all the way around and set your forms based on that. So we sit here, uh, it's supposed to be here within the truck within 15 to 30 minutes, pouring uh, 16 yards of concrete. It's a little cool today, so we've added an, an accelerator because we, for one thing, we couldn't, couldn't get the truck until mid to late morning. And so it could, going into the end of the day, because it's going to be cooling off even more, uh, I want to make sure that it hardens uh, in time so we're not working with headlights. All right. Hey, we got a truck and we got a front, even better. I was looking forward to maybe not even putting my boots on and just running the chute because we have an extra guy today, so there's, there's four of us. Probably be some stand around time. What's that? I'm not gonna be able to reach all of it. Right, yeah, we, we, we can pull it. Let me know when I'm close. I'm yep. I just slopped some. Fixed it. Yeah, I think he's going to do that side. <laughs> it 
It's looking good. Hey, Dan, right, right there, can you pull some? It's got to go that way. Back this way, 10 feet. More? Right there, just a little. Yep. Nice. Might be a little low over here. I think you're high right in front of you. Uh, this. Right near the road in front of my truck. Yep, let me look at it. Sure All right. Okay, concrete. Give me some more concrete. Five weeks. I'll work. Pretty much all three of you guys have a better eye than I do. Yeah, so tell me how's it look. <laughs> <laughs> it look. Chad, does it look high, like right in the middle, from about four feet in all the way back? could probably screed that. Do you want to do that, Chad? Just a, a swath across this way? Yep. Uh, yeah, that's what you do anyway. Then we'll know. Chad's going to screed this 12-foot uh, swath this way. Then we get a good feel for where we're at. That was a good operator. Love that. He said he's only been doing it for four months. I would say for, for that amount of time, he's got really good. He's gonna be a big asset to their team. Let's go get a close up look at that. That lets us know where our low spots are, if any. You can see it blending in really well. Dad has worked with me off and on since he was in grade school, so he's totally familiar with uh, the process. Now he's got four kids and a beautiful wife. The beautiful wife came first. <laughs> you can't hear a word I'm saying, but that's all right. And we're waiting for truck number two. That's eight yards, just about perfect halfway across. So we should be good on yardage. That's always a concern when you, when you get to the last uh, mouth spoonful of <laughs> concrete. Do you have enough? Do we have enough? Do we have enough? I think we're going to. All right, second truck is here. Let's get this unloaded. Good job. Good job, Chad. We we gotta bring some into there, I believe. I believe. I got shot by the FBI. Oh, I believe I can fly. We want that a little bit wetter, or is that good? Wetter. Huh? They have a dryer in the last one. You want wetter? Movie here. Okay. I don't, it may be too late. It's always hard to second load to try to get the same consistency as the first load after the first load is almost unloaded. It even starts setting up as the truck unloads but we got it pretty close i think this loads a slight bit drier than the first load but i think we can mind meld it make it work
How you doing over there? Pretty good? Looks like I'm the only one working on this load. I have the microphone. I can't hear you. Sorry. <laughs> they seem to think they're still working as hard as me. Good to tamp the edges. It gets the air bubbles out so that it, uh, when you see the edge of the concrete, it doesn't look ratty. What's that? I think so. I think so. I can't really tell. I have extra here if you need it, Chad. Right there. Sounds like a foghorn at the ocean. We have enough. We have enough concrete. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. Do we have any extra? We could use a shovel full right in that corner. Okay. If you can scrape up. I'll see if I can pull any. Beautiful, like a tabletop. So now we're going to use a, uh, a board. We'll go into that drain and we'll just do a circle around to make it nice and sloped to the drain. So we've hit it with the power screed that gives a rough level. We had to rework it a little bit towards the front. There was a little, uh, little, little low in the middle, a little high out where Kyle is. So we even that off. We'll run the bow float over it now. Would you be able to move like all the tools and everything out of the way of the front here? It's already starting to stiffen up. You can, when you run the bow float over it, you can hear that sound of uh, just a harder, harder concrete. We're still at least a couple hours away from power trowel. That looks really nice. The bow float, when you run it out, you can turn the handle and it changes the angle of the blade. <laughs> so let's see might be able to do this it's pretty light so yep 
Yeah, I'm going to do this half first, then I'll set over there. But I'm, we're going to start gaining mud that's got to be removed. Oh. Um, well, when you guys toss me a scraper, actually, no, I can do it with hand. Yeah, well, a shovel a shovel would be better, probably. Oh, okay. Because it would be quite a bit, I think. No, it's fine, I got it. Nope. So if you can stay over here, oh, probably, okay. right. and then I'll get out of your way so you can shovel it. Oh, you'll get it. Oh, okay. Wow. We haven't had to remove any yet. But we will. It's coming. Oh. Yeah, quite a bit once we get there. Wow. I see. I see what you're going to have to do. Seriously, Chad and Dan are playing. Working. What a... I'm glad they're clocked out. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, once again, Kyle and I carrying the load. Well, I'm, I'm just supervising at the moment. Actually, there's not much of a load. This is pretty easy. Yeah. Other than the fact that you have to be bent all the way over. So I'm going to come, I think I'll come back halfway and then you can gently pull that, Excellent. take this out and, and dump it out front maybe. Oh, okay. It's okay that they're just goofing off because there's really not much for them to do right now. Concrete is like one of the unhealthiest occupations there are because you hurry like crazy to set up for the concrete to be delivered and then when it, and then you take a break and you eat donuts. And then the concrete shows up and you start working really hard and you're sweating and everything and then you stop. Eat more donuts all set in another hour or so we'll go back and we'll notch in for the two garage doors we'll make a little bevel on that so that the approach is more gentle as well as it acts as a watershed when the door is down and the rain hits it it'll shed out and then the door won't freeze down so now we wait so now we're carving out for the two garage doors it only re really needs two of us to finish this off, so Chad and Chad and Kyle going back to the shop to load the walls for this job. Mm -hmm. One more time, we're going over it. The final pass, it came out really, really nice. The slope to the drain is great. The smoothness of the slab is great. It's all great. <laughs> it's been a beautiful working day, 60 degrees. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Watch the next one.